We probably picture tiny, shiny things in the sky at night when we think of stars. That's how they look from Earth. But you can see that stars aren't small. In fact, Betelgeuse, one of the biggest stars, is a lot bigger than our Sun. Scientists have had no idea what this star is for years. However, Betelgeuse has been experiencing a more disturbing event lately, which has made scientists and other knowledgeable people very worried. The James Webb Telescope says that Betelgeuse will soon be destroyed. In this movie, we'll look at the scary details of this new event and how it will affect our galaxy and our lives here on Earth. Michio Kaku, a scientist, said that Betelgeuse is a cosmic wonder and a big star that has fascinated cosmologists for a long time. Ptolemy, a Greek scientist, was the first person to find it. We can see this star from Earth in the winter because it is so big. This star is probably something you've seen or heard of if you're into constellations. The star that stands out in the upper left corner of Orion is the reddish-orange one. In other words, this star is very old, and it is still one of the brightest in the sky at night. The fact that Betelgeuse's brightness doesn't stay the same is an interesting fact itself. One of the interesting things about this star is that it changes shape, but it's not the only one. Let's look at some of the other unique things about Betelgeuse. A lot of the stars you see at night are very far away from Earth. Earth is 4.2 light years from the nearest star. If you still don't get what light years mean, think about it this way. Imagine going through the air at light speed for a whole year. A light year is the same as 186,000 miles per second, which is how far light goes in one year. There are a lot of miles between them. Being four light years away means that the star is billions of miles away from Earth. But some stars are even farther away, and Betelgeuse is one of them. Being 600 light years away from Earth means that even if you could move at the speed of light, it would still take 600 years to get there. Not even our fastest spaceships can move that fast. It's still very bright in the sky, though. Betelgeuse is so bright even though it is far away. This is because of its size and brightness among other things. The size of Betelgeuse is about 500 times that of the Sun. It is thought to have a radius about 1,000 times that of the Sun. Betelgeuse is so big that it looks like a disk when seen through powerful binoculars, while other stars just look like points of light. Scientists think that reactions in the top layers of its atmosphere cause it to look like a disk. It takes between 12 and 19 solar masses to measure how heavy Betelgeuse is. Astronomers use the solar mass as a common unit of mass. One solar mass is equal to 2 King 1030 kilograms. Because there are no other planets circling around Betelgeuse to compare it to, scientists can't say for sure how heavy it is. It is true that Betelgeuse is at least 12 times heavier than our Sun, but we can't measure it directly from Earth. When it comes to light, Betelgeuse is between plus 0 and plus 1.6. In simple terms, Betelgeuse is 16,000 times brighter than the Sun. That's why people call it the Red Giant. But Betelgeuse's brightness changes because it pulses. To put it another way, Betelgeuse grows and shrinks. It gets brighter when it grows and less bright when it contracts. This process can last anywhere from 10 to 100 days, or even longer. Betelgeuse is also one of a kind because its surface is covered with dark magnetic spots. In these spots, the magnetic field is much stronger than on the rest of the surface. However, these strong magnetic places stop hot gas from moving to the star's outer surface, which makes those areas cooler. Because it has so many more of these spots than the Sun, Betelgeuse is cooler than the Sun, even though it's bigger and brighter. There are dark magnetic spots on the Sun as well, but the ones on Betelgeuse are bigger, and there are more of them. To give you an idea, Betelgeuse's spots can be twice as big as Earth's. The magnetic field around Betelgeuse is a thousand times stronger than the Sun's. The gases on the surface of Betelgeuse look like they are forming loops or arcs when seen through a lens because of this strong field. About 3500 Kelvin is how hot the surface of Betelgeuse is. This is a lot cooler than the Sun. The dim red color of Betelgeuse is partly caused by its low temperature. 
It wasn't always red though. Betelgeuse was yellow, about two million years ago, just like our sun is now. Its color changed slowly over time to an orange red, and around 2,000 years ago, it turned into the red star we see today. Some experts think that Betelgeuse is almost dead because of this change in color. It gives off about 7,500 times more energy than the sun. That star could have been a real threat to the sun if it were closer and still in its best shape. At night, Betelgeuse can be seen with the human eye, even though it is 600 light years away. Our sun, on the other hand, is only 8.3 light minutes away from Earth, which is why it has such a big effect on it. We might be able to see Betelgeuse during the day if it were closer, but if it took the place of the sun, it would be so big that it would push Earth and the four closest planets out of the way. Also, Betelgeuse gives off a lot more energy than the sun, so even if it did fit, it would be a bad star for Earth. So, maybe it was never meant to be our sun. Maybe it was just meant to be a red giant far away that we can enjoy. Because Betelgeuse is so far away from Earth, its red light is stronger. Light waves from objects and galaxies are changing because the universe is expanding all the time. Longer wavelengths move farther because of this. From far away, only red light can be seen because blue light fades because its wavelength is longer than red lights. Betelgeuse has been very interesting over the years, but one thing is still clear. It is an old star that is almost done with its life. As stars age, the hydrogen in their bodies changes into helium through a process called nuclear fusion. This turns the stars red. This is when the star starts to slowly change into what scientists call a red giant. We know that stars that are heavy age faster than stars that are lighter, because they have more mass. The rate at which Betelgeuse is dying is faster because it is 12 times heavier than the sun. Also, Betelgeuse's irregular pulses and changes in light are more proof that it's getting close to the end. Betelgeuse began to get less bright in 2019, and in February 2021, it was at its dimmest ever. Scientists became worried that the star was about to die because of this. But how do stars go away? A explosion is the name for when they blow up. Now tell me what a star is. If you've ever seen a nuclear blast, you should know how small a supernova is. When stars reach the end of their lives, they explode in a huge, powerful blast called a supernova. During a supernova, a huge amount of energy is sent into space. This makes the events some of the greatest and most amazing in the universe. Supernovas come in two different types, type 1 and type 2. A type 1 supernova happens when the remains of a low-mass star pick up matter from a nearby star until they reach a point where they can't hold anymore. This sets off a nuclear reaction that blows up the star. High-mass stars like Betelgeuse go supernova when they run out of fuel and can't keep their own structure together any longer. Because of this, the star bursts, sending out a huge amount of energy. Most Type II supernovas give off light, heat, and radiation. Some are so strong that they destroy everything in their path. A Type II supernova can sometimes give off so much light that it makes all the other stars in its galaxy look faint. Heavy elements like iron, nickel, and gold are also made by Type II supernova blasts. During the high-pressure, high-temperature reaction, these metals are made. When the star bursts, they are spread out into space. Since they are going into space, they help make new stars and worlds. What kind of explosion do you think Betelgeuse will be? Of course, a Type II. Michael Kaku is scared of this. It's possible that Betelgeuse will blow up soon. Is this good or bad news? I guess it will depend on how things go. In 1604, there was the last supernova in our galaxy. Supernovas are usually very beautiful and make bright colors. Even though they're beautiful, you shouldn't get too close to them because they can kill you. What would take place if the explosion from Betelgeuse hit Earth? The high-energy light that supernovas give off is something they all have in common. 
A normal supernova sends out a burst of beta energy that is a thousand times stronger than the radiation from the sun. You already know how bad the sun's rays are, especially since people started to worry about global warming. Think of something a thousand times worse. The radiation from a supernova could damage the ozone layer, and the shock wave alone could be very bad. That would be another extinction-level event if it got to Earth. It could kill off almost everything on the surface. Some scientists think that the only way for people to escape such a radiation blast is to go underground. The surface of the Earth is the only thing that can take in this kind of radiation. We might be safe if we change to live underground. But some cosmologists and experts say, we don't need to worry about Betelgeuse at all. They say that since Betelgeuse is so far away, we are safe. But here's the thing. Science changes all the time, and every day we learn something new about the world. For example, the James Webb Telescope just found six very large galaxies in space that are the same size as our own Milky Way. Scientists did not believe that galaxies this big existed until lately. Scientists had to rethink everything they thought they knew about the universe after finding these galaxies. This makes us wonder what else we know might be missing or wrong. So, the idea that we're not too close to Betelgeuse's supernova might not be completely true. Because we've only been able to study Betelgeuse with new technologies like the JWST, we don't know what other skills it has. The pulsations of Betelgeuse are already very interesting, and its supernova could be even more of a surprise. Particles from an explosion of Betelgeuse could reach Earth faster than light, or the shockwave from the explosion could cause another close star, like Capella which is only 43 light-years away, to erupt on its own. If that close of a star erupted, Earth would definitely be affected. But let's say the blast doesn't hit us and we're safe. What other things could we feel after Betelgeuse explodes? A lot of the time it would be light effects. A supernova mostly gives off light and energy, so no matter where in the world you are, you would be able to see Betelgeuse's bright light in the sky. Scientists think that a big star like Betelgeuse could send out a blast of light that would be so bright that it could be seen during the day. It would be like seeing a small bright star close to the sun, but that's not all. People also think that the impacts of Betelgeuse's supernova might be brighter than the moon. The bright lights from a type 2 supernova don't last forever, so we wouldn't have two moons. Most of the time, they last between two weeks and a few months. So Betelgeuse's supernova might shine brightly for at least two months. After that, it would go out. What will happen to Betelgeuse after it blows up? Betelgeuse is expected to leave behind a black hole in the years after the explosion. Black holes are often formed when big stars burst. Betelgeuse will leave behind a patch of dim light if a black hole doesn't form. Even that light will go out in a few more years. The last question is how soon Betelgeuse will blow up. We're not sure. Some experts think that the supernova could happen a thousand years from now. But because the star is dimming and pulsing right now, those guesses might be off. Michio Kaku, a famous theoretical physicist, sound the warning, which suggests that Betelgeuse may be about to fall apart. It might happen in the next hundred years, ten years, or even two years. When scientists first noticed that Betelgeuse was getting dim in 2019, they found that the star's top had literally exploded, sending a large chunk of itself into space. We don't know for sure but that might have been the sign that the supernova was about to happen. We can only wait and see. Thanks for seeing. Click on the thumbnail of the movie that's now on your screen to watch another exciting episode. I'll see you there.